So welcome back. So now that we found a framework we want to try and use or a generator we want to try and use of one of Yeoman's uh, autoscaffolded generators here, I'm going to go into that generator and notice it's just a GitHub. It's nothing else. It's just a GitHub with somebody who made some generator code that can make an API for us. But to use this we have to take a few steps. Step one is actually if you scroll down in the getting started part is to run npm install uh, g yo. So we'll do that inside an OJS command prompt. Now the just g means it's globally for all the different um, uh, projects we're going to build in this machine we can now use yeoman or yo. They just call it yo. So let's just let that install and I'll get back to you. So after a bit of time you should see something like this where it makes a sanity check. I already had mine installed so that's why it went a bit faster maybe than it did on your machine but you should kind of have a list of all the different yeoman parts you also have available now. So now Yeoman is installed, that means that now we can install a generator for Yeoman. Okay, so Yeoman is the tool that can build these generators, where the generators themselves can build specific uh, helper scaffolded solutions for us, right? So we're going to also install this tool, which is called the Generator API. So let that install, that'll just take a minute as well. So the generator is installed, and again, you're going to see a lot more information here than I just saw, because I already had it installed as well. Um, let's go back. And the last thing it wants me to do is say yo API and then it'll just uh, build this uh, generator. It'll use the generator to build some code for me, right? But I just want to make sure, always make sure that you're in a clean directory. So I'll make a new directory here and I'll call it rest API yeoman uh, like this, just to put in something. So at least when I'm in this folder, I won't screw up my entire work folder, right? Because in my work folder I have a lot of different projects. I don't want them to be polluted with all sorts of weirdness. So always put a clean folder so you're sure that all the stuff in there you can just delete it if you figure out this was not the API you want to use or the generator you want to use. So now I write yo API like the um, application said I had to do. I give it a second and it pops up with something like this saying hello hello uh, you're going to build something something. I'm just going to keep the server name default. I'm going to give it a description just a test like this. My current version is going to 01, author name LJB, author email LJB at ESV.dk. And then here, this is the cool thing. Now I can add my models, right? Now I can add my Mongo models. And I'm going to make a user, um, a movie. No, I'm going to make customers and movies. I think that could be fun. Customer and a movie. That's all I'm going to have. Let's just press enter. And what do you want the database to be called? Well, let's just keep the same name again. Do you want to use Docker? We're not going to touch on Docker, but what the hell, it's free. So after a few seconds, it's created all of these beautiful files for me. And these are all the dependencies in this new REST API that we actually just downloaded from NPN to be ready to start working with our REST API. Next time we'll try and run it and we'll have a look at what it can actually do. But that was kind of how you used Yeoman to make your first REST API. See you next time.